Hey, what's up everybody? Today is Monday, Music Monday at www.poeticexpressions.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. And today we are talking about Justin Timberlake. Yes, his CD, The 2020 Experience, is set to sell close to a million copies within its first week. And it was released last week and the week before that, it was available on iTunes to stream uh, you can listen to it for free, but you didn't have the privilege of buying it, but you could stream it, which I did do. I listened to it uh, for free that week before it was released and decided to buy it as well. And I think one smart thing he did with this CD was working again with Timbaland. Uh, on the last CD, The Future Sex, Love Sounds, uh, they did such great songs together. So I think that he really would have been shooting himself in the foot to not work with Timbaland again. And Timbaland actually did pretty much the whole CD. Uh, it pretty much kind of tells a story a little bit, uh, much like the last CD. Uh, there's interludes that kind of change up the beat, maybe on a certain song, uh, where it's almost like it's two songs in one. Uh, some of my favorites on there are Strawberry Bubblegum, uh, Spaceship, Coop. Man, that song is really jamming. Y'all haven't heard that one, make sure you check it out. It's a slow jam, kind of like uh, Until the End of Time, the one he had on the last CD. But it's really, really jamming. Uh, of course, Suit and Tie. Uh, he has a song called Push a Little Girl that's really good. Pretty much the whole thing, you can just let it play. Uh, and if you get it from Target, you get the two bonus tracks on there, too. Um, and on top of that, if you thought that this was going to be his last CD in a few years like he did before, then you're probably wrong because Quest Love actually came out and basically spilled the beans and said he's going to have a part two to the 2020 experience released in November of this year. And Justin Timberlake has confirmed that this is true, all except for the fact that it will be released in November. Uh, there's no release month or date set yet, but it will be released at the end of the year. So that'll be interesting too, to see exactly what the second half of the CD will sound like. Uh, there's 10 tracks on this one, there'll be 10 on the next one. Again, like I said, Target, you get the two bonus tracks, but uh, it'll be 10 and 10 and that'll make up the 2020 experience. So I think it's a pretty cool idea. Quest Love was saying he thought it was a little too elaborate. I think that's a little bit of hating he's doing there. Uh, but you can check out my full review on what I thought about Quest Love and him revealing that information as well as the whole 2020 experience CD. And speaking of 2020, I could not continue without mentioning this because I think it fits perfectly into today's topic in today's video make sure you pick this up right here this is my book hindsight 2020 it's a poetry book that i've written it's my second one and my first one was called blur vision uh, so this is my second book it's available for pre-sale right now on my site www.poeticexpressions.com the official release date will be april 5th and then i'll be having an official launch party or release party on april 6th that following day on saturday uh, here in Dallas. So make sure you check it out and check out the blog on Justin Timberlake, the 2020 experience sequel, and let me know what you think about it. And see you all next Monday.